hello guys good afternoon and welcome back to my channel all right so in today's video i want to show us how to iron properly now one of the major problems that fashion designers face is always ironing most of us claim that we don't like ironing but there is no how you will be a fashion designer and you won't love ironing because ironing solves a greater percentage of our problems on sewing right and finishing now ironing is part of the greatest part of finishing that you need to take seriously now i have seen most designers outfits have start sewing their necks the necks are not balanced for those for those of all that make male clothes the neck is kind of standing like a small collar which is not supposed to be so the neck is meant to relax now the question how do we um get to make the neck relax properly now the neck realization is solely on ironing all you need to do the first thing to do after you must have sewn as long as your threadings are neat the ironing will help you to relax every other thing as long as your your finishing is neat enough ironing is now coming in to do the rest of the job now the first thing to do here is what they call opening pressing opening press means simply opening the inner cloths right now iron from the inside where you have your side allowances left then make sure you use either steam iron or a dry cell iron whichever one you can lay your hands on you can make use of it then iron the inside here it helps to relax the sides and make sure when doing this the iron should not be too hot right the regulator is on two or three point um 2.5 right it's so that it, it won't be too hot to burn the fabric now the reason some of us are scared of ironing is because they don't know how to regulate the iron the iron and uh, they claim the iron is to burn fabric but if you know how to regulate it very well and if you're using a good iron you won't have much concerns right or much problems so now once we have gotten to this stage now you open open press the both sides right open press the both sides of the cloth this open pressing will help it lap firmly and give you a neat inner finishing and also make sure that you weave your inner allowances please weave every nooks and cranny inside right weave every nooks and cranny of your cloth inside then open press every detail every part open press every part of this outfit this is very, very important for all of us then on the armhole area you are meant to as well iron it so that it reduces any tension that might be on that sole line iron it both front and back now be in mind i am making this video in order to help us grow right so if this is the first time of watching my video on my channel you are highly welcome and don't forget to also subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the subscribe button bear in mind to subscribe is free there's no money attached to it it, help, it just helps you to you know get notified whenever i make or post new videos just like this so when you have done when you are done ironing the armhole and the compressing you now bring out the fabric from the front this is where you do another great job as well by simply placing it on your table this way then you iron the side but then before you iron make sure you get the same fabric that you are making a piece of it a piece of it place on the side and then iron on top now the reason for this is to make sure that the iron does not shine or drop any dents on the outfit right so you must make sure you place a fabric that way and iron don't place the iron on top of the main cloth except you are using what they call a teflon cover for the iron that's what they call teflon cover you can check it in the market and then put it on the surface of your iron by with that you can now iron 
your fabric on the surface. By so doing, it will not shine or burn the cloth, right? So having said this, now the next thing is to iron out all the um, areas you did um, top stitching or any area you did um, turn up or whatever, whatsoever. Just take note of how I am taking my time to iron. Then make sure that the sleeve is properly balanced. You iron out this area. This is what a designer must do by himself. A laundryman might not have the time, or not might not, we not have the time to iron in this detail because he's also trying to meet up with the jobs he has. So you're the only one that knows where to iron on your son clothes. It is called first time ironing, right? So you must be the one to do this in order to make your job stand out. So look at how beautiful the sleeve area is already looking. Then after that, do the same thing on the sides as well. This is just finishing, right? It's just finishing. Now I noticed that um, the steam is not coming out much, so I have to drop water on it. So iron out this way, iron properly, and then do the same thing on the other side as well. All right, so I tried to refill my water tank, right, for my steam iron. So this steam iron is a must have for every fashion designer. It gives you the perfect ironing effects on your outfit. So I think I made a video on how to install the iron and how to regulate it. So you can just go through my channel and locate this particular video, right? So that you um, learn how to use it as well. The steam is coming out very well now. So now, you iron out the points, you know, that is very much needed. So just follow the procedure I am undergoing here. Now, most of us are always craving for a perfect outfit. Now, some of us are desperately in need on how to learn good finishing. But once you mention iron, they start being scared. What are you being scared for? Who will do it for you? Nobody. You're the one that will do it by yourself, right? So, if you learn very well, you'll be able to do it teach others, you know? Even if you want to assign someone that will do it for you, you must know how to do it first so that the person you assign will not spoil your work, maybe in error. But we'll just learn it from me. Since it's a free tutorial here on YouTube, so you, you don't need to spend money again to go and pay to learn how to iron. No, learn it here. This is one of the best ways you can learn ironing. So just drop fabric on the surface of the material and iron. So this is just how I know, can see how beautiful the outfit is already looking. Everything is coming out nicely, right? So take your time, iron out all the detailed points. As you can notice, I have not ironed the neck yet. I'm just ironing the body. Uh -huh. So don't be in a haste to go on the neck. So just gradually, gradually iron out all the whole areas. And bear in mind that when ironing, you apply little pressure. You know, you apply little pressure on the iron in order to smoothen or um, straighten any rumpled area. So now let us learn how to do the neck. Now look at how bulgy the neck is looking. But when you place your fabric on top this way, you are meant to iron from down to up, push it from down to up in order to make the neck fall and relax properly. So you push from here. You push from here. Right? You push from here this way. So in such cases you can use your 
cold iron and tap it so that the steam remains or the heat and hotness remains on it in order to bend it properly the way you want. So look at how the neck has relaxed, the one side of the neck. Now let us now do the other side as well. So place it as well, same method, and then carefully arrange it this way. Then iron, right? So this is how you take your time and iron out your fabric. So I also show you how to do packaging. Packaging, right? In this same video, packaging is very, very important because if you know how to sew, but you don't know how to package your outfits, you will still tend to lose customers or clients. So see how I am ironing everything, you know, to come out perfectly. So this is how iron. Look at how relaxed the neck is looking now. Unlike before, after stitching, it was hanging like a small collar. Now, when you have ironed out the whole front panel, you also go to the back. The back still needs to be ironed, right? It needs to be ironed. So you also check on the sides, check on your hemming to be sure that your hemming is still in line. Then you straighten the hemming area very well as well. You know, and also use your code iron this way. Then Dear Prince, you give me white nylon on my package nylon. So you iron out properly. Iron out properly. So now once you iron out all the nooks and cranny of this particular outfit, you will not have problem again. So now let's let's learn how to fold. Now next thing for us to learn is how to fold. You must fold the front facing down. So once it's properly done this way, then you place the side at the center of the back this way. Place the side at the center of the back this way and then drop a piece of fabric on top this way and then iron out the side line iron the side line iron the side lines we also iron here please Note how I am ironing. Place fabric on top. If you don't place fabric on top, the iron will drop a shiny effect and the cloth will look like an old worn out cloth, right? This is one of the tri tricks I use. After sewing, it will be as if the cloth is not, um, it's not being made with the machine. So once you are done doing this this way, now the next to do as well is to fold this other side to the center back as well. And then once it's done, you place this fabric here and then you also iron nicely. You also iron nicely, iron the side, this other side as well. Iron nicely. And then the next thing to do. All right, so now you make sure you iron in detail from right just don't be in a haste so for us to um fold this see how you do it fold the half panel the but the damp part from we have half length of the top and also drop a fabric here and also iron right so this thing i'm showing you now <laughs> is what most people pay money for or don't even know where to get it from 
but I'm here trying to set you free. So kindly subscribe to my channel, comment so that you get notification whenever I make or post new videos. So now you make sure that the iron is getting to every nooks and cranny. There's no area of this outfit that you that you will not iron. Every part will be ironed thoroughly. Will be ironed thoroughly, right? Then the sleeve folding. Look at how the sleeve pattern folding is done. Make it this way. Bring it backwards, and then fold it again this way. Do the same thing on the other side. Make it to come out plainly from here. Take it backwards, and then bring it again this way. You see how beautiful your clothes is already looking. Also, I on the sleeve. This is called packaging. When you take your time like this, eh, and I on your customer's fabric this way, hmm, he will not have an option to pay you double the money. He will pay you and tell you thank you on top, right? He will be happy that you made the clothes for him. So now, in this 2024, you're not meant to be slagging behind. No carillas though. No carillas at all. When this clothes is, has been ironed this way, if you bring it out, <laughs> hey, you go see, say, customer go the rush you. I know get job, I know get job. Most times you're the cause of you don't have a job because you don't take your time to give detailed finishing. The people that get you clothes will always complain and you will not make any move to do any adjustments or upgrade in your work. You always remain that same level. You always use a colour when you know that this is a new year. Eh? So if you buy industrial iron and iron like, like this now. So if you are seeing me now and you are liking what you are seeing, if you still can do it too, you just to buy the iron. Do the ironing and that's all. Shake it now. Follow my steps. And you understand that ah, this is not magic. It's not jazz. It's not that's not jazz in this. So the normal ironing. So after this now, you now go and put your person buttons here, two of them. You are done. And then you bring your white nylon this way. Right. Then package the clothes very well. Make sure you raise it up. Let the design be this way. So that by the time you bend this line of stuff back, it, it doesn't cover the style of the cloth. So place it inside like this. Hmm? Like this. If you have small perfume, just sprinkle it inside. Small low, small perfume. All those oil perfumes, just small drop, drop it inside. Then tear this thing and then fold it like this. And you're done. Then after that, take it your customized nylon which, which you must have and then as well you place inside hmm? so after this you are done though the next thing is to go and cash out you go and take your balance or take your food or food payments however right and you are really sure that you deliver a good job this is how to package your, your outfit in this new year 2024 thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also comment give me a thumbs up and share me your thoughts on this interesting video of mine. See you in my next episode. Bye-bye for now.